To begin. Are you watching closely? To begin. Clytus, I'm bored. How to start? What plaything can you offer me today? More spoilers. Welcome to the first syllable. There will be spoilers in this episode for Death, Death, Death. That movie you saw recently? No, I'm, that, that's not a real thing yet, but in the future. Hey, hi, how you doing? Hope you liked it. If you're listening to this, I assume you liked it and you cared. There were spoilers last time for the 1985 segment of the story, as I figured out how I could reduce the seven characters from 1985 down to five. Now we're into 1999. There are only six characters in 1999, but I'm pretty sure I can combine two of them, possibly contain two others, and bring it down from six to four, which would be good. Now who are they? This is an easy one to get rid of. She's important, but if she gets combined with another one, she gets a more interesting name because it's not so obvious because Katie is Catherine, Katie with a C, Eddowes. If you don't recognize that name, a reminder in case you didn't listen to last week's episode, all these characters are named after real people who were murdered and their death went officially unsolved. Katie is the virginal one and an obvious final girl candidate. In the Wikipedia entry in 2013, she might even be the lone survivor, but things change once Marty tries to change things. It's not exactly, well, that's sort of stuff that happens, but it might get changed because I'm mixing and matching some characters and combining them in the rewrite. Things could change, but that is the setup for the story and the twist is that Marty is the one who's like, well, if we know who's going to die, let's fix it. But the version in the notes here is Marty tries to change things, Kitty fucks up, and Mary and Katie both get killed not the order of events. <laughs> uh, this weekend, she intends to finally have sex with Will, because Helen makes fun of her. Helen might say, I see dead people in reference to the Sixth Sense. Just out in August. I don't know if that made it in. If not, I need it. Let's see. I see dead people. That one did not make it in. That is one I will have to make sure is in there, because I liked having specific references to the years that also count as pop culture enough references that they could be more timeless and aren't immediate red flags to the twist. But in retrospect, we're like, oh, I see what happened there. Also, I don't think Katie and Will interact. That's funny. I think I completely forgot that that was going to be a thing. So Katie ends up getting a little lost. She's basically a sounding board for character I'll get to in a moment, Elsie, which is why I'll probably just combine them. Yes, yeah, so she referenced Sixth Sense when she hears Katie talking about seeing someone in the house that isn't there. It's because Katie doesn't talk about seeing people that aren't there because Katie can't see them. She can only hear them, and that's only when they're nearby and talking. She can only hear Mary or Kitty, so it doesn't end up really happening until everyone knows that there's other people in the house. Um, which means Helen doesn't die first. Wait, how does it mean Helen doesn't die first? Helen might say, I see dead people in reference to the sixth sense, but when she hears Katie talking about, oh, because it was after she sees someone, but she could have seen someone earlier if the thing takes a slower time frame instead of all happening in one day. Then there'd be room for her to see someone like the first night and Helen would make a joke. Except I'm not sure if Helen's going to exist. We'll get to that. Named for the fourth canonical victim of Jack the Ripper, killed in Whitechapel, London, 1888. Face disfigured, nose severed, abdomen roped open, intestines over right shoulder. That's not that graphic. <laughs> How does Katie die? Wait, does Katie die? Spoilers within spoilers. Yes, Katie dies. We end up having no final girl from 1999 because Marty fucks up everything by trying to save his sister. So, oh, does his... I don't need one of the lesbians in 85 to be the butch lesbian stereotype and one to be the lipstick lesbian stereotype. Because it was 85, I kind of wanted it to be because it seemed a little on the nose. So I'd need Susie now to be the butch one, except Susie can't be the butch one because she's involved. She has a connection with Ringo, Ed slash Ringo. That complicates the whole lesbian thing from 85. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, that's going to get hard to figure out. That's not what I'm figuring out right now. That's more plot, less characters. Second character, Charles Charlie Bravo. Our wannabe filmmaker and screenwriter in 99. 
That doesn't really come out. This does. Fantasy nerd, excited about Peter Jackson making Lord of the Rings movies. Yep, that does get mentioned. Which needs to get confused by the audience for a part of the conversation about The Hobbit, because Marty's reading it and AJ being excited to see The Desolation of Smaug. He and his girlfriend Elsie definitely went to Comic-Con this past summer. He dressed as Obi-Wan and she dressed as Amidala, which Kitty would call a choice. Named for Charles Delaunay Bravo, a lawyer found poisoned in Balham, London in 1876. Dead by poisoning? Probably not usable. Maybe an abdominal wound. I believe how I end up having Charlie die is he chokes on something and then gets killed, so I can have like that sort of choking poisoning moment first. But notably, his wife was in a separate bedroom, having recently recovered from her second miscarriage, and a servant was knitting next to her when they had when they heard Charles vomiting. So depending on when he dies, we could have Mary and Vic with her knitting in the same room. Hearing screaming, which would mean the times are connecting outside Kitty. Which has big implications for part two. Yeah, but it didn't get that complicated. We do have the knitting stuff, but that was used for a different purpose. And doesn't end up getting used for the final per. Oh my god. It was put there as a specific reference to Halloween and her having the knitting needles to stab Michael. Except no one actually uses the knitting needles to stab Benny. They do talk about the knitting needles. We'll get into that next week, because the character with the knitting needles is Vic. Elsie Siegel. Or Seigel. Elsie Seigel. Even more of a fantasy nerd than Charlie, she is currently reading a hardcover of the Legends Anthology. And then in quotes, I have New Dark Tower, New Song of Ice and Fire, New Pern, New Wheel of Time, New Discworld, What's Not to Like. She ends up being a little more of a character than Charlie, because she has a conversation with Katie about books and being a nerd and a bunch of other stuff. And whether or not Katie is going to hook up with a guy. And I think I could combine them in a way rather than have that conversation. That conversation could be with someone else. So that Elsie takes the place of Katie and we don't have the name confusion at all. Because we lose two Marys from last week. From 85. And we lose Katie and Kitty. We keep Kitty, lose Katie. Elsie's less of a famous murder victim anyway. Name for a young woman found dead inside a trunk in an apartment in Chinatown, New York, 1909. The note found when Elsie disappeared said, I'll be home by the end of the week, don't worry. This is 99, so Elsie could have a cell phone and get a call from a worried parent. The 11th is Monday, so this 99 venture is not just a weekend, so she could say this line early, maybe on the ride up. And she does. She gets a phone call from her mother, and we hear her say, I'll be home by the end of the week, don't worry. Strangled with a light cord. So Elsie does end up strangled with a log dog chain. But maybe she doesn't know she still would. It'd actually be more tragic now if we combine Katie and Elsie, then the death of her will be a much bigger deal. As Katie's almost is, but Elsie should have been. William Will Cunningham, athlete but a second stringer. He and Henry are trying to get a band started, guitar drill murder in reference to Slumber Party Massacre 2, because we've got dreams beyond football. He's been with at least one girl before, but his inexperience makes him a bit awkward still when Katie wants to have sex, so maybe he's the one who ends up flipping through channels on the television, which is a specific reference to a couple Friday the 13th movies where the rejected guy ends up by himself either opening the birthday gifts in Part 7 or looking, watching the weird porn film in Part 5? Or is that Part 4? Part 4. Whatever. I did have specific notes on what he would see when watching TV, uh, but that's a separate thing. Named for William Desmond Taylor, knee, William Cunningham, Dean Tanner. Why does he have two names? I don't remember. Oh, film director found murdered in his Westlake home in Los Angeles in 1922. So somewhat famous, so maybe he'd be the one to lose as far as names go. Shot once in the back. Maybe his is an accidental death, like with Skip in Slaughter High, and it's with the gun left behind by Ringo in 85, which would also be there in 92 for part 2. Uh, it doesn't end up being the same gun as such, well, it could be, but not where it was like left in a specific spot and they find it there, because that'd be weird if it just sat in the same spot for 14 years. But it could be the same gun. 
And he does die accidentally, but I would have to combine him. If I combine him, he doesn't have to die accidentally, which means I lose the accidental death. So then the gun death for Ringo could be the accidental one. What already is. Different accidental. So we had guy accidentally shoots himself because Benny pushes the gun back. And then we had person who's trying to use his gun on Benny gets surprised by the wrong person and shoots them. I like that one. I like, I like both, but in a row, they're a bit much. So losing one's fine. Henry Smith. Generic name, but might have to keep it. Or we make Charlie more of a nor- nerd. More of a Nord? This episode's sponsored by Nord VPN. No, it isn't, but eh, it's a good service. Maybe his accident. Wait. I already said that. Where am I? Where am I? Henry Smith. Athlete, or more likely, he just keeps stats for the team. The house is his uncle's place. Does not come up. He and Will are starting a band, Guitar Drill Murder. And in the great tradition of American Pie, he and Will and Charlie are determined to get laid this weekend. Didn't happen, even though a reference to American Pie 99 would make sense. So it'd be interesting if I could get that back in there in some way. Back to the notes in parentheses, which in retrospect is kind of funny because there's three of them and only two girls there. Wait, only two girls? There's three girls. Katie, Elsie, and Helen. That's confusing. Only two girls there, and Elsie and Charlie are a couple. But Helen might just hook up with Will and Henry together if they'll go for it. How did I forget that Elsie existed in that? Elsie and Charlie. Yeah, I, I forgot Katie in this paragraph. So this paragraph would actually make more sense if we combine Elsie and Katie. Named for Henry Weston Smith, a preacher found dead near Deadwood, South Dakota, in 1876. Since his namesake was a preacher, Maybe Henry can't go through with the threesome because of a cross on the wall or something, and his Christian upbringing takes over. Since his name is Henry, and so was Benny's first victim, someone can find a love letter to Henry, and this will prompt him preaching about Benny Croner. He is shot to death, which could also tie into Ringo's gun from 85, like the original, the real guy was shot to death. How does Henry die? I don't remember now. Weird. Which could also tie into Ringo's gun from 85. Doesn't. Won't. But then we've got too many deaths that aren't with Benny's go-to weapons. Right. Okay, so I specifically didn't want to kill him that way. And then Helen Doyen, the oversexed one of this group. She barely puts up with the nerds. She could find Mary's copy of Cycle of the Werewolf. She could also... No, she also could be when adults are around. We don't see this, so I didn't end up tying into the thing. A good Catholic girl making... Clothes for the poor, like St. Tabitha slash Dorcas. That's for a reason, you'll see in a moment. But how does this come up in conversation here? Yeah, it doesn't, so it doesn't. She may have a threesome with Will and Henry, but they will probably chicken out. Named for Helen Jewett, born Dorcas Doyen, a prostitute found dead in New York City in 1836, killed by cuts to the head and then set on fire. Yeah, so she is killed by cuts to the head, as it were, but she's not set on fire. So. We've only got six characters here, but already Elsie and Katie get combined easy because their interaction is, as long as someone else is in the room, we can get this a lot of what they have to say by having the other people talk about it. Maybe it's just Charlie and Elsie. I wish I could get it to feel like, I guess it'd be Mary and Susie on the other couch are having the same conversation as Elsie and Charlie, and then we get crossover dialogue that feels like they're all talking to each other, but then they're not. But that is hard to write. Henry Smith is a generic name, but it's probably better than the Will Cunningham. So I might lose the band unless Henry and Charlie are making a band together, which complicates this whole thing. But maybe that's why it's complicated is this is a smaller group in 99. They're just there for whatever reason. I don't know why they're there. And Helen, none of her backstory of the real person really comes up. So she might get lost entirely. That simplifies part of the story. How does she die? Oh, she dies by her... Well, she dies near someone else, I think, because we get a combo of 399 deaths in a row. But that would change when Elsie and Katie get combined. Yeah, I don't think Helen serves much larger purpose. She gets lost a bit. Because essentially she was going to fill the same role as Frenchie or Vic in 2013. And so we don't need her. So if we combine Katie and Elsie, lose Helen, we could probably even still keep Will. But I don't know if I need Will. 
So I think this six does drop to four. We get Elsie, Charlie. I was like, I guess we keep Helen, just to have someone else there. Helen would be the combined. It'd be Elsie is taking more of the bigger role that Katie had, but Helen gets some of Katie's dialogue so that we can have the conversation between Elsie and Hallie instead of Elsie and Katie. So you don't know these scenes, so you don't know what I'm talking about, but there's a whole conversation they have that leads into the... No, because Helen has to be there for the threesome because that's when they find the letter. But if we spread the time frame, there's more time to find the letter. They could find the letter somewhere else. We don't need the threesome thing. This group could be less about sex. It's 99, so it should be anyway. 85 should be more involved with this sexual references because it's an 80s slasher film. This is a 90s slasher film, so it's less about that. And more about complicated relationships. Couldn't get a whodunit into it because that's not part of it. I get to use Charlie's and Elsie's nerdetry to tie into the other stuff. Maybe Helen is trying to steal Charlie or Elsie to join her and Henry. And we lose Will. And maybe Charlie and Henry are the ones starting a band together. Charlie's like our nerd, but also... Um, what's it called? Hipster. So he could easily be in a band that's referencing some old slasher film with Helen. Or maybe they're all in a band together. Maybe that's less of a conversation topic and more of a reason for being there. And maybe then somehow we get the implication, or we have reason to infer, that Guitar Drill Murder is going to do music for the movie that the 2013 group is trying to make. 99's weird because it was already fewer characters. I knew up front that none of the 99 characters were going to live. So they end up with more dialogue than some of the others. I think. I need to do a color-coded copy of the script and see. Make all of the 85 parts red and all the 99 blue and all the 2013 green or something and just give them clear colors so I can see who takes up the most script. So I can balance it out a little. Or deliberately imbalance it in a weird way so we don't know what's coming. But I can reduce the 99 cast by 2 also, so I've cut 4 characters. That brings us from 19 down to 15. We'll see how it goes in part 3. Cut! You're still here? The, uh, it's over. Stuff that dreams are made of. It's a passport. Go home. To another world. Go! 